Now, I've loved Studio One since long before I came to work for Personas. And one of the big reasons is they're always making it better. There have been times where I've sent suggestions off to Personas about, hey, it'd be great if this feature did this. And the next update comes along and it's there. That feature I wanted is in the software. They listen to their community and they implement a lot of those suggestions into the software. Not only with the big upgrades like version 4 to version 5, but the little ones in between can sometimes feel just as big as the big upgrades. So 5.1, 5.2. Now let me catch you up. When we released version 5, we came out with a brand new product called Personas Sphere. Personas Sphere gives you access to Studio One Professional, Notion, our notation software, all the Studio One add-ons such as the different fat channel EQs and compressors and all the instruments in our library, uh, exclusive content from folks like me and Gregor, Marcus Huskins and others that's exclusively available inside the members portal for Sphere members. But one of the coolest things is the ability to collaborate with other Sphere members using workspaces. Maybe you've checked it out a little bit, uh, but one of the biggest requests we got from folks as soon as we launched version 5 was it would be great if we could access all of these files from within Studio One itself. Up to this point, you've been able to use workspaces, you've been able to export your mix down and your stems into the workspace, but you can't see what's in there without leaving Studio One and opening up your internet browser to look at Persona Sphere. Okay, so now we've added some integration that makes that so seamless, so cool. It works so smoothly, and I can't wait to show it to you. To demonstrate this, I've created a simple song using some stems from a song of mine called Fighter. I want to send this to Gregor, have him access the files via Persona Sphere, and let me know any feedback he might have for me. So the way we do that all within Studio One is we open up the browser, and this is where you access your instruments and effects. But if you come over here, click the pull down menu and click on cloud, you'll see this new area. If you are a current Personas Sphere member, just double click here and you'll be in. If you're not a Sphere member, you can join at our website and then you'll have access to this as soon as you join. Okay, so there's two sections here, collaborations and workspaces. Workspaces are my workspaces I've created. Collaborations are workspaces someone else has created and invited me to. So we're gonna go within workspaces here. If we open it up, we can see different workspaces there. I'm gonna create a new folder within workspaces, which essentially makes a new workspace. We're going to call it Fighter for GBY, which is Gregor. Okay. If I open up workspaces, we'll see, bam, there it is. I've got a new folder there waiting for me. Now within that folder, just for fun, I'm going to create a stems from Joe folder inside of there. So I can have a place to put these stems. So it's keep some organization there. Now check this out. I haven't left studio one. I'm about to send these tracks into my workspace. All I do is select them all and drag them onto the folder. Now, before I let go with the mouse, you'll see we have some options. We can drag them in as raw WAV files. We can hit Command on the Mac or Control on the PC and it'll switch to WAV with rendered insert effects, which means it'll bounce it down with all the plugins on each channel. Or we could even create a dot audio loop file. We're gonna go with just raw waves on this one because I don't have any plugins in this session. I let go and bam, Studio One goes to work rendering each of these and dropping them into my workspace. Okay, the stems are now in my workspace. If I double click on that folder, we can see them right there. Boom, stems are there. Now I wanna export a mix down for Gregor to have as well. I can do that just like I've always been able to do it. Command E or Control E to open up the export mix down window. We'll name the file mix for Greggy and we'll make sure under this publishing section that we have upload to Personas Sphere selected and good to go, I say okay. Now Studio One is gonna render a mix down just like it always does, but once that's done, it'll pop up a window to ask me where in my Persona Sphere account I wanna place this mix. There it is, I'm gonna choose the Fighter for GBY workspace and click upload, and just like the stems, it's gonna upload that into the workspace, it'll be there next time I look. By the way, in case you didn't know, there's a little arrow here next to the start page button that will animate and move when there's transfers happening up to Sphere, down from Sphere, for example. Um, so you can always know if there's a transfer happening. Once it stops moving, there aren't any transfers happening. And if you don't see what you just uploaded in Sphere, just right click and choose refresh. It'll refresh it there and you'll see that my stems are here in this folder. 
and my mix for Greggy is right there. Speaking of Gregor, we need to invite him to this workspace. Let's log into Persona Sphere on the browser and click on Workspaces, and we can see, ta-da, there's the workspace that we created all in Studio One, by the way. This is the first time I've opened the browser. Open it up, we can see a timeline of the files that I've shared. We can see a list of files here, and we can add Gregor as a collaborator just by adding his email address here. Okay, invitation sent. I can even leave him a message here in the chat. Hey, Pumpkin, can you please check this out and let me know what you think? Question mark. Bam. Now, it's all in Gregor's capable hands. Over to you, Greg. Hi guys, this is Gregor for Personas, and Joe reached out to me to ask if I could give my opinion on his stems from the song Fighter. Uh, I think he wants to set them off to stem mixing or stem mastering or something like that and just wants to make sure. So let's take a look. And that's easier than ever with version 5.2 because if you're a Persona Sphere member, you have even tighter integration of your workspaces and collaborations directly from within Studio One's browser now. So let's take a look. So I just received an email from Persona Sphere that there's an unread message in my new Joe's and Gregor's creative workspace. And yeah, I just go to Persona Sphere and right here I can already see that Joe asks if I could check this out and let him know what I think. So I can just type sure thing. And now we're gonna switch directly to Studio One because to access and to audition or download these files, I don't have to do that from the Sphere website anymore. I can do this directly from Studio One. So let me just switch to Studio One right here. And to access the files, we just go to the Clouds tab here in the browser and double click Persona Sphere. Now I have the collaborations and workspaces. Joe has already explained that. So collaborations is for all the workspaces which I'm not the owner of. Double click that. And now I can already see that he um, included a mix down for me, like a stereo mix down and also the individual stems. So let's have a listen to that rough mix first uh, before we go into the stems, because if that already sounds great, then I know that I can give him the green light for sending this off to a mix engineer. The great thing is that I can audition this without actually having to download the file. So I can just hit play. And as you can hear, it's playing directly from the browser in Studio One. I could even play that back in the current song tempo if I want, but in this case, that probably doesn't make too much sense. All right, so, uh, so far it sounded pretty good. Let me check the drums. But I want to dive a bit deeper into the stems because I think I hear a bit of a low end rumble that he might want to get rid of before sending this off. So let's just double click to access the stems. And I think that was either in the bass or in the drums. So let's have a listen to the bass real quick. Yeah, there's a bit of a rumble going on and there's probably also in the drums. So let's just check both of these really quick in our session. And to download them, all we need to do is just select both of them and drag them over into our song. This will start the download process right away. All right, download completed. Those are the files. And let me just solo the bass real quick. Yeah, the issue is definitely not with the drums, but with the bass. And to get an even better impression of that, let's just add uh, the spectrometer first. It's uh, a plugin that comes with Studio One. And you can see there's quite a bit of rumble below 50 Hz that we probably don't need. I'm just gonna take a screenshot of that, just so I can show Joe exactly where the problem is. And what I can do now is just select this file and then check this out. Click on the wave icon here and this opens up the file directly inside of our Persona Sphere workspace with a file discussion tab. What that allows us is to add comments, inline comments, directly at a certain timestamp, much like you would know it perhaps from other platforms such as SoundCloud, which is really fantastic for collaboration. So let me show you that really quick. And I can just play that back. And if we just look at it visually, we can already see that the issue is in particular over here. And now I can just hit my space bar to pause and then click here to enter a message and say, hmm, there seems to be quite a bit of low end rumble going on here, right? And to make that point even clearer, I just gonna go to the general timeline of our workspace here and drag in that screenshot that I took previously and let him know there seems to be some issue in the low end 
try applying a pro EQ low cut at around 50 hertz, right? And then upload that now. And now he has both the timestamp where this issue occurred as well as the suggested solution in the screenshot that I uploaded for him. And there you have it. Those are the brand new workspace integration features in Studio One Episode on Sphere.